Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Mailbox Cleanup Tool in Outlook lets you view the size of your mailbox, find items older than a certain date or larger than a specified size, archive items, view the size of your deleted items folder and empty it, and also view the size of and empty your conflicts folder if you have synchronization issues if using cached exchange mode on an exchange server email account. This is a useful tool if you receive a lot of email and want to keep it organized. The mailbox cleanup tool gives you control over the size of messages stored on your computer or exchange server. When you start to reach your storage limit on an exchange server, you might get warning emails or notifications from your server administrator. If you reach or exceed your allotted storage size, some functionality of Outlook might not work properly. For example, if you have a 1 gigabyte limit on storage, you may not be able to send new email if you reach or exceed the limit. Using the Mailbox Cleanup tool in Outlook can help fix storage issues and keep your messages stored in a logical and efficient manner. To use Mailbox Cleanup in Outlook, click the File tab of the ribbon to open the Backstage view. If needed, click the Info command at the left side of the Backstage view. Then click the Tools drop-down, formerly called Cleanup Tools, that appears at the right side of the Backstage view. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Mailbox Cleanup command to open the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box. From here you can adjust settings and perform actions for the Mailbox Cleanup. Note that the information in several of the following sections appears on different tabs depending on the type of email account connected in Outlook. For example, you'll see a Local Data tab appear for POP and Exchange accounts, a Folder Size tab for IMAP accounts, and a Server Data tab for Exchange accounts. These tabs show the sizes of storage used by local and, if available, remote storage for the email accounts. To view the storage used for local storage and or server storage in Outlook, click the View Mailbox Size button in the first section of the dialog box to open a pop-up window that contains one or more tabs depending on the type of email account connected. Click a tab to show a breakdown of all items in that type of storage. When finished, click the Close button in the pop-up window to close it and return to the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box. To find items older than a specified number of days or larger than a specified number of kilobytes in Outlook, choose either the Find Items Older Than or Find Items Larger Than option button in the second section of the dialog box as desired. Then set either the days or the kilobytes parameter for your selected option by using the adjacent spinner arrows or by typing directly into the adjacent fields. Then click the Find button to the right of the search parameters to open a Messages Advanced Advanced Find dialog box which shows any matching Outlook items at the bottom of the dialog box. To close the Advanced Find dialog box after using it, click the X button in its upper right corner. To reopen the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box again, if you use the Advanced Find dialog box, click the Tools drop-down, formerly called Cleanup Tools, at the right side of the Backstage view. From the drop-down menu that appears, then select the Mailbox Cleanup command to reopen the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box. To manually run an auto-archive and archive all Outlook items using your auto-archive settings, click the auto-archive button in the third section of this dialog box. Review lesson 12.2, setting auto-archiving for folders, to refresh yourself on using auto-archiving in Outlook. The next section in the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box covers the Deleted Items folder. Click the Empty button to delete any items contained in the Deleted Items folder. You can click the View Deleted Items Size button to open a pop-up Folder Size window. This window lists the size of the files contained in your Deleted Items folder on one or more tabs depending on the type of email account you connected to Outlook. The final section of the Mailbox Cleanup dialog box is the Conflict section. This section is only active for Exchange email accounts. The Conflicts folder contains any messages that are duplicates or that conflict with another item in your mailbox. These are often caused by synchronization issues when running Outlook in cached exchange mode. You can view the size of the Conflicts folder by clicking the View Conflict Size button. This will open the Folder Size window. The information in this window is separated into Local Data and Server Data sections. 
You can empty the conflicts folder by clicking the delete button. Any items in your conflicts folder are then deleted. When working with your mail folders in Outlook, there is a cleanup button that appears within the delete button group on the home tab of the ribbon. Clicking this button opens a drop down menu that contains the cleanup conversation, cleanup folder, and cleanup folder and subfolder commands. Clicking the cleanup conversation command deletes duplicate messages within a selected conversation in the mail folder. This means it removes redundant information, so the conversation only contains new information from each person involved. This shrinks the size of the conversation and frees up valuable storage space. Duplicate messages within a conversation are moved to the deleted items folder where they can be manually purged. Clicking either the Clean Up Folder or Clean Up Folder and Subfolders command removes duplicate messages within a selected mail folder and or any subfolders that may exist. This also helps if you have many messages that contain the same information. Any items removed from folders this way are sent to the deleted items folder. Choosing any command from the Clean Up button's drop down menu opens a pop up window. Adjust the settings for the cleanup action by clicking the Settings button to open the Outlook Options dialog box. Scroll down to the Conversation Cleanup section to adjust any settings as needed. Then click the OK button in the Outlook Options window to apply any changes to the settings you made, if needed, and to return to the Cleanup dialog box. Then run the cleanup by clicking the Clean Up or Clean Up Folder button. To cancel the cleanup instead, you can simply click the Cancel button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.